All right, looks like we are live. Um, I'm gonna give it a second to make sure that this is all set. Just wanna say happy Friday to everybody and anybody that's going to watch this now or later. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is James Patrick. I am the Associate Dean of Education here with the Southwest Institute of Healing Arts here in Tempe, Arizona. Yvonne, hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, so typically on first Fridays of every month, we do a gifts and graces celebration. And normally, normally we would be doing this in person uh, in one of our larger presentation rooms with hundreds of people. And obviously we're in a different way of life right now. And we're doing things a little bit differently. So here we are. Uh, outside of Suiha, I am a lifestyle trainer focused with coaching and I do a lot of personal training, motivational speaking. I am a certified firewalking instructor as well and an ordained minister on top of all that. So many different hats that I wear and many of which I received from the training here at the Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. So tonight is going to be a little bit different than our usual gifts and graces presentation. Usually we're a little bit more lively, fiery, interactive. We've got a lot of audience participation and you know what? We're gonna roll with the punches. So tonight it's more about the message. Not so much about how much content we can fit into this time that we're together. Shannon, hello, good to see you. Mary, hello. Casey, hello. <laughs> so it's more about the message tonight. And the theme this evening was resolution. Originally, we were going to check in to see where everybody's at because the first quarter of 2020 is over. And we're still gonna do that, but we also wanna acknowledge what's going on in the world today. So, people are used to my fire and my drive and my motivation, and we're gonna have some of that tonight, 100%. And we're also going to take it a few steps back because in all of this, I just want to let everybody know that tonight, aside from reconnecting and reigniting and reinvesting ourselves in our goals, our passion, our purpose, tonight I'd like to just take a step back and hit the reset button because I feel it's as if this is exactly what we need right now. Just a moment to breathe, a moment to hit that reset button and to take a step back and to just simply be present with each other and with yourself. So I want to remind everybody that while we are living in a time experiencing something that we have not before, tonight is very much about holding space for you, being present for you. It doesn't change why I do this work. It doesn't change why I share the messages that I do and the work that I love. It just changes how I'm doing it today, tonight, and for the foreseeable future. But it doesn't mean I stop. So I'd like to begin by doing a little breath work with anybody that is watching and offering a little prayer, a little blessing. So I'm gonna invite you at home, for those watching, to just simply ground yourself in a comfortable space and close your eyes and to connect with yourself and your breath. You take a big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big deep breath in and out. Filling those lungs. One more big deep breath in and release. Slowly opening your eyes, being fully present. And I'd like to offer tonight just a little prayer and a little blessing. And what I'm gonna ask you to do at home is this. So from an energy anatomy perspective, your right hand is your giving and your left is your receiving. 
So people often ask me what this tattoo is that I have on my arm. And as a healer, as a doer, as a giver, uh, somebody that works within the field of health and wellness and being and doing and helping others, what ends up happening is these rings around my arm are closed off because they're bonding me to my role in this life. So energetically, I'm always going to be the giver. I'm always going to be the doer. So what I'm going to invite you to do is for yourself, for those who are not able to be with you right now, friends, family, anybody that has been affected by what is going on, to simply put your hands up because we want you to give of yourself, your energy, your being, your spirit, the good that you have within you. Be willing to give to others and with your left hand to place it over your heart. Be willing to receive. So as you give, be willing to receive and this message tonight is actually inspired by my grandmother who passed away years ago. And what I have with me tonight is I have her rosary, which she carried with her in her purse every single day. And I invite you to call in your higher power. Now, whether that's God, universe, spirit, your angels, your guides, whoever, whatever your higher power is, just call them in in this moment. And with your right hand extended out, and your left hand over your heart, I simply share this prayer, which is from St. Francis of Assisi. And it says, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And for those that have been affected by this, it is in dying that we are born into eternal life. So everybody here is an instrument for themselves and for other people's well-being. Now I had somebody actually ask me not too long ago if tonight was really the night to be doing something like this to motivate, to inspire, to drive, 200% yes is my answer. There's so much chaos and negativity and panic being shared that what this world needs so desperately right now is positivity, powerful prayer, motivation, drive. Hi Jill, hi Casey, powerful prayer, you just spoke my mind. And I received a sign the other day because my motto is to make shift happen. And I love being able to do that for others, being able to push others to their next best self. But I was driving into work the other day thinking about the message and what it is that I wanted to share. And I was listening to a local radio station here and uh, the host on the show actually mentioned a quote from Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers, excuse me, which I thought was perfect for this time, and it said this. So his quote was, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. To this day, especially in times of disaster, I remember my mother's words and I'm always comforted by realizing that there are still so many helpers and so many caring people in the world. And that really kind of hit home for me. And that was really even more of a reason for me to step up and to do this tonight and to be able to share this message with you. Because that is exactly what we do here at SWEHA, Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. We train helpers, supporters, doers, givers, healers through all the different programs, whether it be through the massage, yoga, life coaching, hypnotherapy, polarity, cranial, Reiki, you name it. We're here to train helpers and doers and givers and caretakers. And now, if there were any time 
that this work was needed more, this is the time to do it. I'm blessed to be able to work with individuals and to teach people every single day through my classes or in my workshops about the importance of stepping out and stepping up into this work and doing for others. Because this life is about giving and receiving. You cannot create value in your life and not also create value in somebody else's. We're here to help each other. And I was blessed to actually have a student the other night, one of my classes, share how excited she was. Not that what's happening right now in the world is a great thing, because it's not, and yet. How exciting it was for this to be the kick in the pants, so to speak, for people to step up and to really do some amazing work in the world right now because it's needed. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of fear, a lot of panic. And what you're seeing is people stepping up, those willing to give back and contribute what they can with the resources that they have. So I'm just gonna check in with everybody because originally this was, how did the first quarter of 2020 go for you? We went through that first 90 days and there's a lot of goals, a lot of dreams, a lot of inspiration, a lot of visions that people are working towards. And like clockwork, it is expected that life happens. And clearly, life has happened. And whether your goals or your inspiration or your plans fell off the map, it doesn't mean that we stop. I shared with you before that I'm all about making shift happen. So if you think about the goals that you set for yourself, okay, if you were working out at the beginning of the year, are you still doing it or has that fallen off the radar? Have we stopped going or doing anything for your physical wellness? You talk about eating healthy. Is that still the case? And given the current circumstances and situations, I realize that that is not necessarily everyone's goal. And people are emotionally eating, stress eating, which is completely understandable. Saving money, now this is probably an upside to what's going on right now, we can't go anywhere. People are being asked to stay home. So perhaps you're having an opportunity to be able to save money where you can. And for those that have unfortunately lost their jobs, we simply send our prayers and well wishes out to those individuals because all of us are here to support one another and we will make it through this. If things didn't work out as you planned in the first quarter of 2020, there are things that you need to consider. Were your goals too big? Were your deadlines realistic? Were you trying to do too much? A lot of times we get really excited about all the things that we want to do. And here's the thing. You only need to do one thing at a time. You only need to focus on one thing at a time. We don't need to do it all. The one thing that I start hearing nowadays is that life was happening before everything with this coronavirus. And People had their own blocks, challenges, issues with attaining the goals that they were working towards. And now I see people turning around and saying, well, coronavirus this and coronavirus that. Well, here's the thing. This is not an excuse to stop working towards your next best self. This is not an excuse to stop working towards your goals and what it is you're looking to achieve for yourself this year. You have a responsibility to yourself to show up to be there for yourself, for your friends, for your family. If you or somebody you know has been affected by what's happened, then you have a responsibility to be a support to them, to be there for their time of need, because you can. So we're gonna take a step back tonight and realize that this is, if anything, the perfect time to plan and to prepare and to condition yourself to do exactly what it is that you need to do now and continue with this process once this is all over because we are all manifesting this to end sooner than later and yet now today in this moment is your time to plan and to prepare and to condition yourself yes KC to be there for yourself and for others Andrea, nice to see you, and you are very welcome. And yes, it is a reminder. If anything, this is a reminder that we are still here. So I'm going to share with you, and I took the shift out of the Make Shift Happens, and KC Miller, the founder of Sweet House, is actually the inspiration for this idea tonight, to figure out how we continue to move forward with ourselves, even as the world is right now, how do we keep moving? So I took the shift out of Makeshift Happen, we turned it into an acronym. 
So for those of you participating at home, if you'd be willing to take a step back, take a piece of paper out and write down the side S H I F T. Okay. When you have that, we're going to go through and ask that for us to continue moving forward, to get back on track with wherever you were before this, the S stands for showing up and you keep showing up. Life isn't easy. Nothing worth having in this life is easy and that's okay. That's when you know that there's work to be done and if the goal is powerful enough, the drive is powerful enough, you're gonna go for it, right? And yet not every day is going to be the best. We know that right now, it's not the easiest to show up. There's a lot of limitations and restrictions and people feel as if there's nothing they can do. You can still show up in your life for your family, for your children, for your friends. And now with the blessing of technology, just like we're doing right now, this is a perfect example. We could have canceled tonight. We could have said, you know, what? we're not gonna do this. And yet, we still show up. It doesn't change why we do what we do, it just changes how we do it. So how we're doing this tonight is me showing up for you through Facebook Live. John, Wonder Twin, good to see you. Thank you for watching. Show up, keep showing up. Own your missteps. Take responsibility for your life as it is. Be perfectly imperfect and know that as I've shared in everything that I've taught before and everything that I've learned, that there are no extras. Your presence right now matters. You are here to make a difference. Be the support, be the help. Be there for yourself and be there for others, but keep showing up no matter what. You never know who needs you and the message that you have to share every single day. Sue, stay connected, yes. Mary Ritter says truth, 100%, all right? And then we move on to the H. Hold your vision and the goals that are attached to that vision. I said right now, this is a time to condition, a time to reflect. The universe basically stepped in and said, okay, stop, pay attention, and take a look at your life and what it is that you're doing. This, if anything, is a perfect opportunity to reflect on that. So we take a step back and we start thinking about what are the things that we really need? What are the things that I must have in my life right now? Hold that vision. When you hold that vision, you start thinking about how you can create some more realistic goals to start moving towards the things that you want the most. And it all takes a single step, that first step. Hold that huge vision and realize that it takes a single step to begin the process. And even with everything happening the way that it is right now, you can still take a single step in the direction of your choosing. Sue, yep, time for a reset. That's exactly what we're doing. We're hitting that reset button. We're showing up, we're holding that vision. And yet, does that vision inspire you? Does that vision make you say, that I'm going to do what I can now. And when this is all over, I'm gonna get out there, fire blazing, guns a blazing, moving forward, creating my path, doing what I need to do to create a better quality of life for yourself and for those around you. Does it inspire you? Does it compel you into action? Then we go with the I. The I is to invite your inner warrior, especially now especially now, invite your inner warrior to connect with your entire being. Now more than ever, to be quite honest. For those of you who haven't heard of uh, Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, right? Everybody has a calling. Everybody has a purpose and an opportunity to do something more, to be something more. Everyone has a calling to answer if, if, if they choose to do so. When you answer that calling, you cross over into the threshold and realize that right now, 
we are in probably the greatest part of this hero's journey, which is the great battle with self. You have a lot of people encountering a great battle with self right now because this is the first time that they've ever been affected or impacted by something this big, okay? And yet, we invite that inner warrior, we ask that we become more resilient. In times of challenge, in times of change, we find that this is what makes us stronger. This is what makes us more resilient. This is what makes us better when we come out on the other side. It may be hard to see right now. It may be hard to feel that way right now. And yet we understand that it is the challenges that push us, which actually change us. So we ask that warrior because right now we're being asked to fight. Right now we're being asked to fight. Be present, show up, hold your vision, and invite that inner warrior to show up so that you can be present with yourself, your friends, your family, whoever it is that you need to be there for, but invite that inner warrior to show up. Sue says here, inner warrior, inner wisdom, absolutely. There is that voice within us. A lot of times we listen to the voices in our head and there's more than one. When you invite your inner warrior to show up, you connect to that inner knowing, which is actually coming from your heart space. That is where the inner wisdom comes from, and it's a single voice. That is your truth, that is your intuition, that is your knowing. That is the voice that we listen to. That is the warrior that fights for you. That is the warrior that gives you the energy that you need to show up to be present for those that you're called to serve. We move forward and we focus on the F. And the F means to fully recommit. So you had a vision, January 1. We went through the first quarter. You had goals, dreams, okay, fine. What worked and what didn't work? Really take a step back and reflect on, okay, what was it that worked really well and what was it that just didn't find its place, didn't find its timing, and you get clear on that vision. You get clear on who you are and what it is that you need. So you fully recommit and you say, yes, this is what I must have in my life right now. If there is enough value, it's not a wish. It is not something that, eh, take it or leave it. If your response to the things that you want in your life, personally or professionally, is take it or leave it, you may wanna think of some different goals. It's gotta be a must. It's gotta light that fire inside you that says, I need to get up off my, you know what, and get my butt out there and start doing something about it. But you fully recommit and you ask for support. Here's the thing, you fully recommit to your goals, your vision, your dream, and you ask for support. We cannot do this alone. Nobody can do this alone. Chad, hello, good to see you. We're not meant to do this alone. So be mindful of those that are there to support you and reach out to the ones that want to see you succeed as much as you want to see them succeed. And when you have your off moments or when they have their off moments, be the person that gets them to fully recommit to their vision and their goals as they are the people that will help and support you to fully recommit to yours. And then, last but not least, we have the T. So we've asked you to show up and keep showing up even in times like now, you're here. That makes a difference. We're asking you to hold a greater vision for yourself and to make sure that that vision is true to who you are and what it is that you need most in your life. We've invited that inner warrior to come and fight for you, to give you the strength that you need to be able to not only show up, but to be able to take the steps that are necessary in a direction of your choosing. We have fully recommitted to that vision because it's a must. The value there says, this is not enough. I am not settling for what is happening today. I am going to be part of the change. I am going to create the change. I choose to be the change in my own life and to create a better quality of life for myself. And as a result, I create a better life, quality of life for those around me. The T 
is where you transform. The better word I like to use is transcend. When you take those action steps, when you create that forward momentum, you start becoming a multiplier. You start inspiring others. And you transcend where you had once been. You're going to have successes. And all of my clients and all of my students know this. You're going to have successes and you're going to have successful attempts. Not everything is going to work out as planned. And that's okay. That's part of living. That's part of what we've signed up for. And yet, with every step that you take, did you learn? In everything, there is a blessing, right? There's a blessing in absolutely everything that happens. The question is, do you learn the lesson? And when you do, you transcend where you were before with greater awareness, more understanding. Jill, yes, you end up with more growth. You're better than where you were before, and as a result, you are stronger. So you take that, you transcend, and Mary, actually, I'm glad you said this because before you left the office today, you reminded me of the quote that said, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And that couldn't be more true. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. So what you're doing right now is you're planning and preparing and conditioning yourself. And I'm going to ask everybody to live in the space of when this is all over. Allow a part of your being, a part of your spirit, a part of your energy, a part of your presence to be living in the space of this is over and this is done. Allow yourself to embrace the energy and the feelings of what that's going to be like, knowing that in this moment right now, this is your opportunity to prepare for that time, to shift yourself into a different state of being, and to reconnect with your passions and your purpose. Realize that any day can be day one. Any day can be day one. And you can begin your process whenever you choose to begin your process. The question is, have you had enough? Is this the moment right now where you're hitting your reset button and you're saying, I'm going to move forward in powerful ways, even more than I ever thought I could, because when this is over, you're gonna find yourself more empowered, more resilient, and really able to roll with when life happens. If this hasn't tested you, I don't wanna know what does. Sue, so when life gives you lemons, you make some lemonade, 100%, and we're making a lot of lemonade right now. So, what I wanna say is this is a season this right now that we're all experiencing is a moment. It's not forever. It may feel differently right now and it may be impacting and affecting you and those around you in a lot of different ways. And I ask everybody to just simply take this moment to breathe. Simply be present with wherever you're at right now and realize that you're still here. You're still here and that means something. But this is a moment this is a moment and it's not forever. My hope, my prayer is that, you know, maybe this is the reality check that this world needs, you know? It is, I personally, just a little story, I was living in New York when 9-11 happened and in that time, I had never seen a city come together the way that it had in that time. And now we've got something greater, something that is impacting the world. And it is my hope that the world begins to come together in ways that it has not before. And instead of spreading negativity, tearing people down, attacking others on social media, what is the change that you choose to be? How do you choose to show up in your life and be part of the solution? How do you choose to give back knowing that you and everybody else, we all have something to offer. We all have something to give. 
This is a moment, this is a season, this is not forever. And yet this is a reality check for all of us. So just breathe into that and know that you are all loved and supported, that you have nothing but my best wishes and intentions put out there for you. Uh, here, we're learning to roll with the punches. We are doing our on-campus classes online through Zoom, as many institutions are right now, because that's the thing, life doesn't stop. This is not an excuse to stop every, life does not stop, we keep moving, okay? And we keep showing up and we just alter how we do things right now. And we know that at the end of the day that we will be better because of this. We will be stronger because of this. The messages that we share with each other, may they be ones of positivity and healing and grace. I ask that we hold space for somebody that doesn't know how to hold space for themselves or for others. I ask that you seek to understand that in times of stress and frustration, we may encounter a lot of anger and a lot of other stress and fr frustration that may be directed towards you. But instead of reacting, maybe taking a step back and seeking to understand where that individual or individuals are coming from. Because when we seek to understand, you start to see things and feel things a little bit differently. And we're less quick to judgment and we are more likely to express, Mary, perfect timing, more compassion and kindness. So if anything, that is what I choose to share with all of you. Again, it was more about the message tonight and less about how much content we could fit into this time. Uh, I was speaking to somebody before this and I said, you know what, if I can get in a good 30 minutes of just being able to be an inspiration for somebody, a positive voice for somebody, a smile, for somebody tonight because the last couple weeks have tested our limits, have stressed us out, have given us more than we can handle, then if this is a moment that you needed to breathe, to be present, to hear that you're supported, to know that you have a tribe and that we're all here for each other, then I've done my job. And if anything, that is the message that I chose to share with you tonight. So I just want to take a step back and say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, feel free to share this with those that you feel need this message right now. Shannon, I really needed this today, and yes, you are very welcome. I will keep showing up. Casey, thank you for being my inspiration. Chad, thank you for watching. Susie, fierce love and brave kindness, 100%. So all of you are my teachers, as I choose to continue to be yours. We're all learning from each other. And Sammy, this is your earthly ground and inspiration. You are very welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise not to keep anybody any longer just because I know we've got a lot of other things to do, but I just wanted to simply say in gratitude, thank you for being present for yourself. Thank you for choosing to be present for those that need you right now and realize that we're in a space where a lot of healing is needed. So whatever it is that you're capable of doing for yourself and for others, please do. So that is my makeshift happen moment for tonight. Blessings to every single one of you. Whatever it is you need, feel free to leave in the comments below and Blessings to each and every single one of you. Casey, thank you. Jill, thank you. Everybody that's watched. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Be safe. Pay attention to the guidelines. Make conscious, mindful choices. And take care of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your weekend.